Um, talking about vintage 2012 in the Douro, both for red wine and for port. Um, we had a very dry winter. And when it's a very dry winter, we have um, very uh, big worries about the maturity of the grapes and how the grapes mature. The very dry winter was so dry that there was absolutely no rain from October to March. Uh, there was eventually one or two days, but was absolutely nothing. So um, our preparation for a catastro catastrophic year was immediate, uh, which, thank God, it turned out to be uh, a very good year in the end. We had some rain during the spring, and then we didn't have very high temperatures throughout, um, even summer, not a, not a lot of rain either. Um, we had 50% of the rain that we normally have on our average in the Douro, so 50% is really low rainfall. Um, by the beginning of August, uh, middle August, when we start doing our surveys about maturity of the grapes, um, we saw that they were not ready at all when they should be showing some sugar concentration and um, the acids coming down. So we had very green grapes right in the middle to the end of August. And that was very worrying at the time. We didn't know how to handle that. I'm talking about the Dodo in general. Temperatures went down for a little while. Nights were very cool and very fresh. So maturity picked up because there was some hu humidity in the air after a while. And we got um, into the harvest right in the middle of, Oct of September, so about two weeks later than usual, um, with grapes coming in at a very beautiful and fresh maturity with 13 and a half, 14, 14 and a half sugar concentration, so our potential alcohol. Um, and of huge colors, beautiful color, very dark and very dense, um, very floral. We, you could taste the floral on the fermenting vats and in the tanks when we were treading the grapes, and uh, very uh, beautiful acidity, uh, uh, beautiful, beautiful, uh, beautiful acidity, uh, with pHs on three five and and three six and um, very high. Um, total acidity. So, in the end, we made a fantastic harvest. Not an excessive and powerful harvest as 2011, which was a very hot year and is going to make a vintage board, um, most surely. But we had very floral, very good structure, very, very good structure, but very elegant and a beautiful freshness in the wines I have seen for years in our Doro wines. They have beautiful freshness every year. But in 2012, they're extraordinarily fresh. And um, so they, they, they show a big longevity. It was very funny. We were tasting at Quinta Valdo Maria um, the 2011 and 2012 in cask already uh, of the same parcels because, funnily enough, we had put the parcels in front of each other on a row, on one of the rows of, uh, of casks of 2011 and 2012. So we were left and right, left and right, tasting with a... Uh, Stefan Reimhall, a German um, wine writer, uh, whom you know. And the amazing differences between the two years was extraordinary. Um, and um, everybody was raving about the 2012s when everybody was worried about 2012s. So that's for the red wines. And the white wines is exactly the same. We have extraordinary fresh, freshness, a lot of floral aromas. So fantastic white wines too. For the port, it was not being an excessive year. You get the same thing in ports, but that's not a vintage port here as such. There may be a sm a sp places in the door, of course, where you have vintage port material, but you certainly have great late bottle vintage material, you know, but very floral, very fruity, um, and very fresh wines without the excess uh, of, of grapeness that you need for a vintage port. So, I reckon it will not be a vintage port year. Certainly will not be a vintage port year for Quinta Valle and Maria. Um, and 2011 will be a vintage port year, most surely. Um, but um, we, we are incredibly happy with the, with the wines and with the year. A little smaller harvest than we had previous in 2011. About 20% smaller overall, in percentage-wise, uh, which made more concentrated grapes. So, overall, what... Thought we thought could be a big disaster 
it turned out to be fantastic. We had a couple, bit, bit of rain in the middle of September to help smoothen up and fine-tune the rest of the grapes throughout. We're all happy with uh, the results, the end results.